Hey everyone, this is Tyson with MJ and Co. How you doing? Um, today I thought would be a really good day. It's kind of windy outside. Um, I'm here with my three babies. They're outside. Jasper just woke up, so I'm trying to make this one relatively quick since I am in my office. Um, which you can see behind me is going to be getting redone even more. Uh, again, we moved in last of July, so the things that I've got done in here were just mostly um, lighting put up and I got the floors redone. Um, the walls and insulation, all that. There's windows, all that. That's just in a different video. Um, today, I was wanting to take the time to go through the seeds that I purchased last year before winter to plant in the new gardens for this year. And let me see. Um, and I do have some that I just didn't get around to planting. I'm going to go through them all real quick. And then maybe do a sped up video of me like um, placing them where I placed them, where I put them in the gardens, um, all kinds of stuff. But there's a lot. And I'm, I'm pretty excited to be able to be at that point to be able to get these in the ground because looking at the covers of the little packets, I'm like, I want that in the garden. <laughs> Now, some of them, they do say uh, sow outdoors after your last frost. It's supposed to get a little bit cold, but we're not supposed to be at the point of um, frost temperatures or get any more snow or ice or any of that. So I think today would be a perfect day. It is a little windy outside, but nothing that's out of the ordinary. <laughs> um, so let me sort these out real quick. And again, I'm just... Um, going to be sprinkling these in the gardens no special rhyme or rhythm to it it just sprinkling I kind of wanted to want to see what they'll do and um, how they'll thrive just being very uh, carefree about it wherever they get wherever they land is where they'll get established um, it's kind of exciting it is a little bit different than like um, a lot of other gardening ways, but I, I really like it. I like the carefree aspect and then the the magic of, wow, there it went. It, it got established, it did its thing, and now it's part of my garden. Sorry, I got distracted. Jasper's out there playing. <laughs> all right, well, let's see. So I'm not gonna go through, I said I was gonna go through all of these, but I'm not gonna go through all of them because some of them are for the upcoming vine garden and then some of them are for the veggie garden. And I'm not doing any planting in those two areas just yet. This is just solely flowers for the flower gardens. There is some herbs, but um, that's okay because I, the, w the way that they smell, the way that they look, they're perfect to intertwine in any, well, vegetable garden or flower garden. I'm actually using the sh um, herbs that I'm about to be showing, the seedlings. I'm hoping they take, be really cool. But the, uh, they're gonna be part of my flower gardens. Okay, just checking on them. Oh. Okay, so the first thing that I have, I got my coffee, I'm ready to go. <laughs> but uh, one thing that I bought last year as it was getting cold was furry morphs pollinator mix. Um, what it is, is it's 14% uh, flower seed and then 86% natural soil conditioner. And I thought I would give this a go. I thought it was kind of exciting. Um, if you can see the flowers on the cover there. There's some um, poppy seeds, uh, coropsis, and um, cone flowers. Some of them I do not know, but I was like, oh, okay, I'll give it a shot. Um, but there's probably about 
15 different species of flowers in this package, which is fairly cool. So you just shake it, toss it, whatever you whatever you want to do, and then <laughs> you just sprinkle it in the ground. So I'm pretty excited for that. I'll name some of them. Some of these names I can't even read correctly. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to try because uh, I'll be sounding like I'm speaking a different language. But Coropsis is one. Um, oh, come on, Tyson. There's Asters. There is Echinacea. There's there is uh yes. My mother actually just showed up, so I'm going to <laughs> take a break real quick, and I'll get right back to you. But this is what I'm going to be planting, and I got two, four, six, and then I got some flower mixes, and then some other flowers, but I'll be right back. All right, that was a fun time with my mom. I love when she comes over and visits. It's it's always fun. <laughs> we do live in the same the same town, same city, so we do see each other here and there quite a bit. <laughs> oh, I needed that. It's so cold. I also went in and got my little heater, so if you hear like a, a noise buzzing. That's what it is. I laid baby boy down, so all I got is Mandy and Wally with me right now. So if you see me look over that way, it's just monitoring them outside. Um, so I talked about this one last time. It also covers around 500 square feet. Um, so you shake it, and then you sprinkle it, and then you water it in. Um, it's got... Like I said, 14% flower seed, 86% um, soil conditioner. So that's going to be a fun one. And I used some of these just as a for in like a pot just for a display uh, just to try it out just to even see if they would grow for me. Nothing special. I didn't like a pre anything. I just sprinkled them in the soil and then if they did their thing I was like great. But these ones are called Maiden's Pink. Um, there's not very many in there at this moment so I'm just gonna use whatever else is in there same with the blanket flowers um, this is also one that is going to be in this pack uh, they are right there in that pack so that's awesome again not a lot um, well, there's some yeah um, some lupine I'm hoping that they this is called Russell's hybrid mixed colors um, so, this one should be very nice. And I, I don't know for sure, but isn't Lupine the one that, ah, this one says blooms every year. Alright, awesome. I got snow in summer. And this one, it... Maybe I should tell you guys about the heights. So the lupine's probably going to get the tallest out of everything that I just spoke about. Everything else is going to be... Lupine gets around 36 inches. Blanket flowers are going to be 24 to 30 inch inches. And then Maiden Pinks and Snow and Summer, they're going to be around 6 to 8. So those are more like... Some of those flowers, those ones that were all reopened prior, and um, I already did some stuff with them, but not in these gardens. They were uh, probably at the old house. <laughs> so I want to do this. These are, let me go through the herbs real quick. Um, so I got lemon balm, which I'm pretty excited for. Um, and then I got two different types of basils. I got basil dark opal purple. 
I thought that'd be a really cool, pretty one to plant with the flowers. Just because of the look of it. It's got big purple leaves and the stems are, are like a dark black purple with a pinkish flower tone on the tips. And then this one's called um, cinnamon basil. Sorry the lighting is not that good in here. And then the last one is going to be chamomile. So, those are my herbs. As far as, oops, I got a couple more that were already used previously that I'm going to just empty them out. This one's Alberta White Flower Gem, which is ironic because they're like a, a pink. Rudbeckia, Black Eyed Susans, and, and then some butterfly weed. I tried these um, pre-starting them one year, and I got them to grow, but they never ever budded for me. They never produced any flowers, so I'm hoping maybe by coincidence with whatever is left, they will do something for me. And then, a couple more, I guess. Sweet William. My partner's name is William, but everyone calls him Billy. Um, so I thought that was <laughs> kind of kind of cute to have. This is uh, Shasta Daisies, which is what these are as well. Um, this one's not open. This is one of the ones that I purchased last year for this year. And then I got a Wildflower Perennial Mix, which is going to pretty much consist of the same stuff as this one. And the heights on this, they range from 12 to 36 inches for, um, for all the flowers in the mix and it should take a bit between 7 to 21 days for them excuse me to germinate and then I got some cone flowers purple so that is all my flowers didn't mean to fly through that I would have spent a little bit more time with more heights um, regions and all of that but a lot of what I got are very very common things if you do have any questions let me know I'll be more than happy to put them down or uh, answer your comment <laughs> um, so yeah I am going to sprinkle these I'm going to take you guys with me show you what I'm about to do um, relatively simple and later on today this is my plant recorder this is where I have all the plants that I have planted this far and I do have some to cross off that may not have survived <laughs> but yeah we'll figure it out as we go all right come with me so I got this one emptied and this one emptied I got all of these still to go. So I'm almost there. <laughs> so I got all of this area filled with all the seeds that I went through. Um, these little stems, they're not much right now. Um, they're little rows of Sharon's. Pretty sure these are the bushes that were growing on the side of the house when we moved in. So I've tried transplanting them, but um, I think it's a hollyberry. There's the leaves. It got like a black stem. It's really pretty. It's an evergreen one. Come on, Wally. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wally. Come on. So that's where those ones got. Well, that's where some of the seeds got laid and then I put some other ones around the bridge on this side 
kind of swooping the rows and then on this side again around the rows all right so i just finished um planting all the seeds uh i stuck the tags where i placed all the seeds so i was going to take you on a quick short tour of where they all ended up come with me actually used to be a herbivity but I planted it over there in the bird garden um, is my chamomile I might go ahead and leave that tag um, and just record in my plant book that I have that planted Thank you. 